Hello everybody, so Calthero here, welcoming you back to another episode of Car Mechanic Simulator 21. Today we're going to work on the van that I wanted to work on. It's uh, the Bolt Cargo, I believe is what it's called. It's uh, inside the shop right now, but just wanted to show you guys, I ended up finding and fixing up and I'm going to end up keeping another Supa, or Supra, as you uh, can probably tell is what it is, the Suka... Yeah, the Supa Sukaru or Sukara. And in the next episode, obviously that car is already done. We're going to work on this one. I've been waiting for an Evo mod, and unfortunately I haven't found one yet. So I figured, why not? We'll do the car in the game that is a lot like the Evo. So it's a Han Hanataka or a Hanata Kagura SX. I don't know. I have no idea how to pronounce it, but. That's what you can expect in the next video. Uh, we're going to go inside here. I already have the van put together and it did not disappoint on having additional mods. So you can kind of make it look like the A-Team van. Been kind of conflicted on selling it, but I think I'm going to end up selling it because I kind of need the money. I kind of don't. I don't know. Maybe I won't. If I sell it, I'll sell it later on. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put it up in the air here as you saw the engine is inside. It's all good to go No performance parts or anything just got the engine in there and uh, got all the fluids in it So we're gonna be doing suspension work on it today uh, Let's go ahead and get started here. I already have them repaired But as you see like right there, that was the first one. I'm gonna be missing some parts So we're gonna need to do that too and I have to buy them along the way and I don't even have that. Whoops. Wheel hub three. Okay. You get rid of that now. Need that. We need a solid rear drive axle. We seem to be missing that too. Or at least missing one. It's the nice part about doing suspension. Whatever you need on one side, you're going to need on the other. Let's see here. Solid rear drive. There it is. Uh, brakes, I think. Yeah, I have lots of brake discs right now. Don't have pads though, so I'll have to get that. And I don't have whatever that is. So we'll get that. And we need pads, so let's. I think this takes. It's going to take four pads. Yeah, because I'm working on the back. Duh. Alright. There we go. And I'm missing some brake. I'm missing these. I think I need four brake calipers too, so I think I got two that didn't make it. But I was building this one. I built this van just before I started building. Oh, I need a leaf spring too. Or just uh, after I had gotten the van to this point, rather, I was trying to think of what I wanted to say. Um, I had started working on the Supa, so as soon as I got on the Supa, I was like, oh, I'm probably taking parts away from the van that I did fix, which, uh, was the case in some instances. Alright, leaf plate is good, and the U-bolts are good, too. Cool, so I salvaged all of that. Get this shock absorber on. Where's it at? There we go. And if I recall correctly, I want to say I found this thing in the junkyard. The truck I got in a barn, but this... Yeah, it came from the junkyard. And I do have the wheels and tires already. I went with something different. I decided to go with the, uh... <coughs> excuse me, a bigger white wall tire. And then, uh, these are the wheels that come on the car, except they come in uh, alloy, so... I went with the black wheel instead, just to kind of mix it up and customize it, just in case I uh, end up keeping the thing. I don't know why I went with the white wall, I just was like, I'll do something different and do the white wall on this car, or van rather. Let's get these U-bolts in. We almost got the rear end put together on this thing. Oh, we need a fuel tank too. I know I don't have that. I probably should just buy a few. Buy six. Need them eventually. And a fuel pump I don't have. These I won't buy a bunch of just because if I do a performance part, which I plan on doing with the 
the uh, car that's all stripped down out there in the uh, yard. <coughs> that is supposed to mimic the uh, Evo. And uh, that is how I found that car. Other than the engine, um, I did take most of the engine out. The block's still in there and um, the bottom end, I want to say, is still in it. But yeah, that car had no body panels on it. It has no... Um, even check to see if these are different. No, okay, good. It had no body panels, no interior, um, no wheels and tires on it. It does have parts of the suspension on it, like this uh, under here, like this does. But it had no wheels and tires. I was just like, man, this car is missing a lot. All right, so we need two V8 mufflers. I'm going to assume we need two catalytic converters and the typical middle mufflers. And it looks like two exhaust pipes, too. I guessed right. We'll see. Yep, exhaust pipe. There we go. Middle mufflers. Catalytic converters. All right, we're going to zoom up here real quick. This it won't have. Oh. I didn't think I had the gearbox either. I thought I damaged that. I guess not. Okay. That's cool. That's in. Oh, I don't have a drive shaft though. <coughs> Keep going that to that way because when you work on the uh, when you work on the engine, if you work on it on the engine stand, that's what you. This is where the uh, add to shopping list is. That's different. It needed an additional exhaust part. I've never had or come across that before on here. Alright, and then we need a, oh, uh, over here, we need a drive shaft. So, exhaust system's in now. We're putting the drive shaft in right now, so, get this thing moving under its own power. There you go. Get up here again. I have that. I think I'm running out of rubber bushings, too. I might need to stock up. I'm definitely running out of steering, steering racks. Ah, by the time I'm done with the video is when I'll break that habit. I know it already. And then I'll need to do it again anyways for when the engine's on the engine stand. All right, so that's on. We're gonna need inner tie rods, outer tie rods. We're good on the steering knuckle. The bottom suspension arms are good. And this camera is really zoomed in. Oh, I had extras of those. That's cool. Did have that, yep. We're good on the upper suspension arms. I think, I mean, other than if the wheel hub has something that's not uh, there, like if I only have one piece, that's probably going to be the only thing I need to buy besides the inner and outer tie rods, which we'll just do right now. buy those all the time so I know where they're at pretty easily all right we have the front axle knuckle covers all right we're missing a front wheel hub we'll need that and we need that okay so we need a front wheel hub where is it at uh, it keeps escaping me there we go and we need two of those and it's a rear wheel drive so we'll need the caps too most likely That called it. Oh, I already had caps. Oh, well. Now we have just enough for the caliper, so we should be good there. There we go. Okay. So, everything other than the other side needs to be done in the front here. And then this car, or well, van rather, should be good to go. But since I haven't done the suspension on it, it needs an alignment, that's for sure. Get this connected so it's not just hanging out there. Ruining people's immersion over here. Now let's click up here. Maybe I can see a little bit more. Ooh, yeah, I'm running out of bushings. 
stock up on those again. There we go. Add some brakes. We're starting to see the end here. Yep. There we go. I think this car is done. Uh, body is missing something. Oh, I forgot to put the glass in the back doors. I can do that. We can do that. If I had it. I thought I had it. I must not have bought it. Alright. Uh, glass and glass. Oh, you know what? I think I did buy it, and I think I ended up selling it by mistake. Eh. Oh, well. You know what? Just because it's the van, and I want to do it. Come on. We're going to put window tin on it. Oh, we don't need that. Well, actually, all the fluids are done, right? I did say that, but is it? Yeah, it is. Okay. Wait. No, it's not. I'm glad I saw that last second. I didn't do the brake fluid. That would have been bad. Driving around with no brakes. Now I gotta really check all the fluids. I saw the power steering fluids done. Washer fluid, that's done, that's done. Coolant's probably done, but let's double check. Yeah, it's done. It's splashing. And oil. Yep, oil's done too. Okay. Yeah, now we're good. I just forgot the brake fluid. Glad I uh, double checked that. Alright, so we're going to do some window tinting here. Uh, we're going to do all the windows. Actually, we're going to do windshield none. Or just very little. Front left door will put a little bit, front right door we'll put, actually should match this up, 70%, 70%, we'll do it to 70, that was a little too dark, we don't want to look too sus in this van, I want it to look pretty cool, there we go, okay, that looks good, all right, so got window tint on there now. Those white walls really stand out. I, I'm kind of regretting doing them now, but it is what it is. <laughs> um, let's go ahead and go to the test path here and get the van aligned. And there's no performance parts in the truck. There's no performance parts in the van either. So they're just... Uh, Complete restores from a barn find and then uh, this in the junkyard. Other than the uh, body paneling, that's the only thing that's upgraded on this thing. I put better headlights, taillights, and a uh, front and rear bumper on it. And a hood. I take that back. There was a better hood too. But yeah, this thing is done. I missed this on the last episode, so I had to screenshot it for you guys, but... Uh, we bought this car at six thousand six hundred and or six thousand one hundred sixty four dollars We sunk in so much money that we have a profit now of forty five thousand four hundred and forty eight dollars and we can sell it for fifty one six twelve which is what we're probably gonna end up doing I'm probably gonna end up selling it for the truck it is I bought it for eighteen thousand because I bought it in a barn like I said eighteen uh, forty. Uh, restored everything, put everything back together, and I'm gonna make $26,381 selling it for $44,421. So, without further ado, we're gonna go ahead and start the truck up. Uh, just to go over the truck, it doesn't really have much as far as performance, or like, it doesn't have performance parts at all, but upgrades, upgraded headlights, upgraded bumpers, um, paint job is red, but I added this piece to the back where it blacks out the trim. I thought that looked a little bit cooler. And uh, I painted the wheels black too, was the uh, look I was going for there. Now let's go ahead and start it up and let you guys hear it. That RPM gauge is so tiny. Yeah, 
That thing sounds good and healthy. This van pretty much has the same interior, at least the seats anyways. Let's go ahead and uh, hop in this thing. And start it up. Oh, this thing sounds a lot louder than the truck. Then again, it looks a lot newer too. Hmm, no RPM gauge on it. Definitely sounds good though. <laughs> that is definitely a nice sounding van, I will give it that. And I, like I said, it has no performance parts, it just has a few body upgrades on it, so... Pretty surprising it sounds as good as it does, especially over this truck. Well, if you look at the engine, this is obviously an older engine compared to that one, so... And obviously with the vehicles themselves, so... It is what it is. But uh, anyways guys, that's gonna do it for this episode of Car Mechanic Simulator 21. Let me know down in the comments below what you thought, and like I said, on the uh, next episode I plan to restore this one, and uh, I'm going to end up keeping this, and I'm going to end up keeping the uh, the Supa out there that I just got done restoring, because one, I've already done an episode on it, but the one that I did was bl all black, and then it was with bright green wheels, and I ended up selling it, but this one... I picked this livery and decided to go with uh, this color scheme here to get as close as I could to the livery. But anyways, guys, that's going to do it. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.